Hey, what's going on guys, Aristius? So, a lot of people have been asking me if I have a YouTube channel, if I make videos, stuff like that. And I had never really gave it much thought. But I've been on Kaiser Stream a few times, and every time I get on there, I get a bunch of people asking me questions. I get people on the forums sending me messages asking me questions. So I figured I would uh, give it a shot and see if I can't help some people along the way and make a few videos and see what people think about them. So I was just on Kaiser Stream eh, a few hours ago and I hinted at my new team which was a little bit something different that people hadn't really even thought of before and I figured I'd talk to you for a minute about it and see what's going on. So the team is Winmain, Playboy Sasuke, Mei Terumi, and Mabui. And we're going to go over everything that they do. So May, <coughs> I'm not going to go over everything about the ninja, because you can read that, obviously, but <coughs> how they function in this team more specifically. So May has got the, the charm that increases male damage to male characters, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. She's got the passive barrier, which is awesome. And then she's got a chase, which is really good, because it causes a mobile, too. But her mystery is a water and fire attributed damage to seven players, causes ignition to seven play seven enemy units, and it starts a low float combo. Now this mystery costs 60, and it's kind of awkward the way that works, but there actually is ways to get 60 chakra on turn two, going into turn two, and that's really why we have Mabui on this team, but we're going to actually start with Sasuke at the bottom. But she's your main damage dealer. She's there to start combos, to provide CC, to ignite people, to poison people. She does pretty much everything you want her to do. She's great. Playboy Sasuke is mostly a support character, but he's probably your second damage dealer if you were to have one. Most of all three of these really kind of fit into the support role for May, but they aren't as support as you would think in this particular lineup. So, right off the bat, he's got, uh, you know, his mystery. We'll go over that in a second because there's actually a way to do all the mysteries in the same turn. But the real reason why you use him is his passive. So, he's got uh, Playboy, he increases his Taijutsu attack and Ninjutsu for six females and applies shield. Now the shield's important because you you can stack these shields and get incredibly high shield value starting the fight. You also have two chases that surprisingly work very well with this team. Normally it's kind of hard to get both of them down. The, the, well, it's not that hard, but to find a team where Playboy Sasuke works, benefits a bunch of females and get his chases is kind of awkward and difficult because there hasn't really been one up until now. Playboy Sasuke has been in events a couple times and each time like yeah people are like he's good in this team but these ninjas aren't out yet. He's good in this team but these ninjas aren't out yet. So there's kind of been like an awkward stage with Playboy Sasuke but right now He's actually pretty good because he's getting these chases and he's got the passive that affects everybody. So his passive is going to buff these three units, my boy, Winmain, and May, and provide them with shields. So that's one shield and all three females. And we're going to go to Winmain. So a lot of people had, were really curious about this team because ideally you'd think you want water main with this team because may is water and then you get the water synergy she's female too so it's not that big of a deal um the reason why you don't well with this particular team if you were using Ao instead of playboy sasuke you, you would you want to use water but with this particular setup um flower guard is better than the 40 percent boost to water ninja so flower guard is the passive it increases shield on all females and increases ninjutsu on all females the water one is 40% and it includes Taijutsu, but the vast majority of the damage on this team is actually just pure ninjutsu. So you get Kirin's pure ninjutsu. You've got Ninja Art Lightning Transmission Jitsu is pure ninjutsu. Then you have all of May's stuff, aside from the standard, is pure ninjutsu. So the Taijutsu is not that important, and you're losing 10% on your ninjutsu, but you're getting a shield for your females which is a trade-off that's worth taking. So now you have 
not only shields from Playboy Sasuke on all three, you have the wind main shields on all three. You also run the multi-shadow clone jutsu, which puts a shadow clone in this position, this one, and this one. I don't know if you can see my cursor. I think I have it turned on. But it puts it in front of all your ninja, basically. And since if you have um, your mains initiative faster, that means that Sasuke is actually going to shield and buff them. The buff's not so much important, but the shield is very important because it gives them, basically doubles the clone's health, and the shadow clones are pretty weak as a whole. So you're talking about instead of like a 2,500 hit point shadow clone, now you're having like a 5,200 point shadow clone, which is a huge difference, and it makes you very safe on turn one. And even if they get through it, you have the shields, but that's another thing. Um, we'll get back to Dance of Impetus, her mystery here in a second, because that plays a huge role as well. Then you have a buoy. Buoy is the way that you get chakra. It's your chakra generator. So in turn one, you start with 30, 20, I almost said 30, uh, 20 chakra. And whenever Mabui does her standard, she's going to get 40 more chakra. So you're going to go into turn two with 60 chakra because it keeps whatever the higher amount is. Normally you would start turn two with 40, but if you have higher than that, you keep the chakra that you had. So you're going to be able to start the turn two with 40 chakra, which or 60 chakra, excuse me. You start the turn two with 60 chakra, which allows Mei to use her mystery right off the bat. She also, she has a, a chase that's, doesn't really fit into the combo and it's not all that important. She has a heal and a cleanse which is good on her standard and she provides a shield to lightning and water ninja which means that Mei herself and Sasuke will get a shield. So for total shields Mei is going to have three, Mabui is going to have three, uh, Breeze Dancer your main is going to have two and Sasuke is going to have one. Sasuke is not very important to the team as far as like vital to the team he's important to the team but he's there for the buff uh, as a whole and if he dies the buff doesn't really go away because it's already put on um, but his chases are really good so you don't really want him to die that's why you have this set up so there's a clone in front of him but even if he does die by the time he does you're going to do a lot of damage to the enemy team and if for whatever reason they target your playboy Sasuke that's not I mean he's He's the weakest HP wise, but that's not gonna. That's probably the worst target to put on the team. So, yeah, Mabui does the 40 chakra, but she does it twice per round, and that's important because on turn two, the way it's gonna work is you're gonna go into the turn with 60 chakra. You're gonna be able to use Vapor Style Acid Explosion, which is Maze Mystery, and that's gonna cost your 60. And then you're gonna go through your standard, so standard, standard, standard. Mabui is gonna get her standard. She gets 40 chakra before each action, so before she even does her standard. As soon as she gets her 40 chakra, you're going to throw out the ninja art, her mystery, which is ninja art, lightning transmission jutsu. When she does that, it's another action, so she's going to get 40 more chakra. Because you remember, you can trigger this twice per round. So you're going to be able to do her mystery, but you get 40 more chakra. That allows you to do Kirin Sasuke's uh, mystery. So you've now done all three of your mysteries on turn two, and then you can use the wind main mystery, which resets the cooldown for your entire team except yourself and cancels all debuffs. So now you're going into turn three, after you just did three mysteries to the enemy team, you're going into turn three with the ability to do it, all three of them, all over again, because this keeps happening. Now you're not able to reset it after turn three, but if they're not like really messed up after turn three, I don't know what to say, because you have quite a bit of damage coming out from the team. Um, additionally, like if you're playing against a heavy CC team, let's say they're running Ao or Fire Main, and they CC your Mei on turn one. Like after a standard, but on turn one, so she can't start the nastiness that is her mystery. You can go ahead, like what you would normally do, or what you would do in that situation, is you just use Mabui's mystery, when you use it, you gain 40 more chakra, so you're still back up to 60. Then you do your reset. Then you do Mei's, um, Teru Mei Terumi's mystery. So you've canceled her debuffs, and you at least got the reset on Mbui's mystery, which allows you to still do all three mysteries. Now, you won't be able to do Mei or Sasuke's mystery again on turn three, 
but you still get an extra mystery out of it, and it's not really stopping your progress, even though they CC'd you a bunch. They do get priority on their um, position one mystery going into turn two if they CC her, but you have so much shields that it's not that big of a deal. Like, you're more worried about CC than damage because most of the time they don't get through half my shields before the fight's essentially won. Um, my team right now is not really, like, maxed out yet. Like, my Sasuke's gold, like, not even gold plus one. And you see everything else is red. But Sasuke's got a lot of level in the go, or a lot of um, advancing to go. Um, my moods are not great. Um, and my I haven't gotten a whole lot of Super Kage scrolls. I think I have one. So you're talking about a lot more resistance as a whole if I put everything to 65% on resistance on all three of these characters if I wanted to. And um, getting the red gear, there's a whole lot more resistance I can gain, which means I'm getting more shields. But even with my current setup, which is kind of weak resistance-wise, I'm still having like 8,500 shields on May going into the fight. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what's going on with that. And I'll show you the combo, the combos. Uh, another good thing about this team is that, <clears throat> uh, hold on, I'm going to show you this, 57, 83, 34. And it's going to be 10k at least. Probably, I might be able to push 12k if I wanted to. But another good thing about May is whenever she does do her mystery, she um, has the chase. Because the way this combo works, it actually does pretty much everybody's chases and she has the immobilize on her chase as well so not only is she being able to poison being able to ignite everything but she's also going to be able to chase and uh, mobilize this last guy see she does the lava spout up stuff so this guy's now immobilized so whatever mystery he was going to do doesn't matter we're going to do mabui's see she gets 40 more chakra then i'm going to do sasuke's this is still turn two by the way and then i'm going to do the wind mains and it's going to reset everything and then we're going to go into turn 3 after they get to attack. And I'm going to do Maze Mystery again. And just blow everything up. So it has the potential to do a lot of damage over the course of 2 turns. Um, she has, we have great shields, like even Mabui's got 8,000 shields. Like I said, this isn't really optimized yet, but um, having the, so many shields, having clones, having CC-ish having a whole lot of ignites and poisons and stuff like that. It's kind of a safe team and it's really strong right now because there's not a whole lot. Like people in my group that fight me are like, how, how do you even die? Like what? I can die. There's teams that can beat me. Like Tendo teams are really good against me uh, and Susan or Sasuke teams because they're immune to ninjutsu and most of my damage is ninjutsu. But on the other side, I'm really good against Raikage teams because not only are you attacking random targets, which I have clones, I have, but I also have shields. So even the Raikage's crazy burst of turn one stuff is probably not going to even kill anything because instead of having to do like 10,000 damage, he's got to do 20,000 damage to be able to kill Mei. And since he attacks randomly, he would have to attack Mei with like all of his attacks, which is very, very unlikely. But against, if you're going to the Sage Battle World, it's a f pretty safe team to take. Because there's, it's good against, it's probably the best team against any random setup that your opponent can have. Uh, there, there are teams that are good against you, but like, just as a general meta call, it's probably one of the better meta teams right now. Um, it's going to get better with the 2.0 update. This changes a little bit. I don't think you play Sasuke anymore. I think you play Great Ninja War 1010 because she's able to do her thing on turn 1 and then you're just blowing people out of the water. But the team's pretty good. It's fun. It's definitely fun to do a bunch of mysteries over and over again. And uh, it's, it's strong. And, oh, for Great Ninja War, <laughs> having three Mays is just great. Like, if you had this team against three maze, you're having a whole lot... You can actually overlap shields, too. So not only would you have, like, the three onto May, but you could potentially have, like, nine on May if all the shields landed on May. It's pretty crazy. But, uh, that's all. I'm just wanted to give you a, guys a little 
taste of the team I'm currently working with, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.